Hey guys, and welcome back. So today, pretty much, I'm gonna be showing y'all our nighttime routine um, after Harper has gone to sleep. So her bedtime is seven o'clock. And that's normally when we start filming is after she goes to sleep. So if you don't see her, it's not that we don't have her, just that she's already gone to bed. Um, the goats are hungry, so let's just jump right on into it. So pretty much I start off by feeding the goats. And it's impossible to walk through them when it is time to eat because they are obviously all starving. Excuse me, ma'am. So we did hang some feeders on the wall. Um, which I like because it kind of keeps it a little bit more organized, but they poop all in it and it's real hard to get it out. So that's the only real downside to it. We get a little sassy when we eat too. Next up is Rocky. And he's real excited to eat. So, you gotta make him behave because he will act up. There you go. Next up is Blue and Birdie. Come on, guys. Birdie, sit. Now we pretty much just top off all their water buckets. If they're real nasty, we'll dump them out and scrub them, but we did that like two days ago, so they're pretty clear right now. Next thing I do is check on all the horses. And I don't know if y'all can see them, but they're way down there eating. So right now we are not feeding them grain just because they have so much grass out there that they will colic if we do. So what we do for them is we just check on them, spray them with fly spray, fill up their water buckets, and call it a day. They're really gonna make me walk out there to them. This is supposed to be our riding ring that we need to till up real bad. Um, what are y'all doing? You ignoring me? Huh? Roxy? Where did you roll, baby? So, a fun fact about me is that I am very allergic to horses, but they're my favorite animal, so I do put up with it a lot. Um, after they're done, I come down here and check on our first garden. It's kind of hard to tell with all the weeds. I've been kind of slacking, but these were those heirloom tomato plants that we have a hundred of. And we did just pick majority of them yesterday, but I like to double check and make sure we didn't miss anything. Those are just so beautiful. This is an heirloom cherry. These things come in all kind of shapes and colors. I'll give you an example in just a second. These are more heirloom cherries with a real funky shape. Here's another one. So we did not stick these just because there is so many. So here's a pretty good example of what they look like. Just kind of like a real big bush. 
and there is literally all those bushes are tomato plants. This is all that I picked today, but if you give me a week, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be drowning in tomatoes. Now we are going to go check on my pumpkin plants and Ethan's sweet corn. Like I said earlier, we need to weed really bad, but this is what we're working with. The sweet corn looks so good in some spots. And in this spot, we hit her with a little bit too much fertilizer. We planted three different types of pumpkins. So in this row is like your regular large um, carven pumpkin. In the middle row is our Jack B. Littles. They are just small orange pumpkins. And in this far row, we planted gourds. Your decorative mix. There is one of our large pumpkins coming up. The other ones are not coming up yet, which is a good thing. It's still a little bit early. Next thing we go check on is my personal garden. It's a funny looking cucumber. <laughs> um, here's another one. It's a little skinny, but I might need to pick it anyway. Let's see. Might be it right now. There's some baby ones. Y'all see them? These are my green bell peppers, which aren't doing anything yet. And here are my cherry tomatoes. Then this is a beefsteak tomato. couple spring onions that we have left and this is my zucchini and squash orange bell peppers and my favorite now it's time to go collect the eggs After the eggs comes their food and water. Next, I'll feed moose and machete. Come here. And then I will feed these crazy dogs. The Blue Healer is Dallas. Delta is the Australian Shepherd. And Missy is our English Lab. And this is Piper. She's Queen Bee. After all the animals are done, we go in the house, eat dinner, do some chores, and start all over again tomorrow. <laughs> we will catch y'all in the next video, and have a blessed day. And P.S. Ethan broke the lawnmower. I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> Let's try it.